Howdy mates, good morning. How are we all doing today? It is Saturday, March 5th, 2022. And today, I'm actually going for a little kayaking trip with uh, the well-known advocate and Mikasuki, Betty Osceola. She, uh, she actually invited me to uh, go camping down at the Trail Lakes Campground in Ochopi, and originally we were thinking of uh, going on the Turner River, but we had to find an alternative, and due to prescribed burning that's going on right now, they had some barricades up on the river, so instead uh, we decided to go to a place called the Collier Seminole State Park, which is a bit closer to Naples, but it's still connected to the Everglades in a sense. But predominantly what we're seeing right now is a great example of a mangrove estuary. So specifically where we are, this is the uh, Blackwater River. That's the name of the particular stream and that's just the name is given by the fact that the water is very dark and it is filled with tannins which is a natural chemical compound mostly coming from various plants such as that of our oak trees which will then leach their way into the aquifer and then eventually out into a stream. So that, so by no means is the water contaminated in any way. It's just the tannins act as a natural dye to the water. So that's why it looks as dark as it is right now. So in addition, what we're seeing all around us are a bunch of red mangroves you know they're always characterized by having all of these prop roots quite remarkable as you really can't tell where it starts it's like one big network and what's particularly neat about these prop roots is when you see like that line right there that high line that shows how high the water has been. So for this time of the year, we won't really see it get that high, but once it approaches into the wet season, it's a whole different ball game. Wow, look at that. So oftentimes when you're in an ecosystem like this, you will find specific homies, such as that of the uh, mangrove crab. I mean, it's in the name, really. You only find them in mangroves. Like, this is their, this is their hangout. And oftentimes, I'm sure, like, in their little brains, like, hey, man, this is my turf. If you want to come live here, you gotta, you gotta coexist with me. <laughs> but... So this river actually event eventually empties out into the Gulf, as a matter of fact. But to get down there, it's like a whole day trip. So you do have the option to like rent these kayaks for 24 hours, but it's about a hundred bucks. So then, of course, for any camping equipment you have, you have to provide it yourself. But much of these waters that we're on are oftentimes tidal. So the water levels tend to fluctuate quite a bit. Like right now, we're since we're kind of in the late morning, uh, we're sort of at low tide right now so just take it in for a moment
It's all right, you guys. Stay tuned for uh, any future videos coming up. Looking forward to what more we will find on our excursion out here. So, take care, you guys, and have a great Saturday. Peace out.